I'd like to add a second hard drive into my VMware Workstation Player computer. So I'm in my VMware virtual machine, and you can see a single drive along with a DVD. So I'm going to go to where it says Player at the top, and then I'm going to go to Manage Virtual Machine Settings. Now in the lower left corner, you'll see this Add button. Right now, I just have the single hard drive. I want to add another one. So I'll click on Add, and you can see the first option here is going to be Hard Disk. So I'll click Next. And now I have lots of different options. So IDE, you can see, is grayed out. That's for an older type of workstation or virtual machine, say 2008 or older. But for 2019, which is what I'm in now, you can see a SCSI is the one that's recommended. So I'll go ahead and choose that. I can either choose to create a new virtual disk, use an existing, or use a physical disk. Use a physical disk is if you're going to use an entire hard drive that's not doing anything else on your host computer. That's pretty rare. Most of the time, you're not going to see that happen. Using an existing virtual disk is if you created one earlier, maybe for another virtual machine, and you'd like to reuse that. Now, in most cases, you're going to be adding a new virtual disk. So I'll choose that. Now you can choose the size. Now, I don't need a full 60 gigabytes. I'm just going to choose 5 gigabytes but choose whatever works for you. Now, if you choose the allocate disk space now, it's going to use the entire amount right now. Now, it's going to be faster that way, but it's going to use all of it right away as well. So if you choose 500 gigabytes, for instance, then you're going to see 500 gigabytes disappear from your host computer storage. So if that's what you want, fine, because it does run faster. If it's not, then don't worry about it. Then you have the options to store the virtual disk as a single file, which is faster, or into multiple files if you plan on moving your virtual disk in the future, which I'm not going to do. So I'll click Next, and I can browse to where I want to put it or just put it in the default and click Finish. Now I'll click OK. Now, will that hard drive appear right away or not? Let's take a look. And you can see that it does not. So here's what we need to do to get it to show up. Uh, now, I'm in a server, but if you're not in a server you, or you're, you say you're in a workstation, either way, you could just type in computer management, either a server or workstation. They both have this application. So I'll open it up and I'll click on storage where you see here. And then I'm going to choose Disk Management Local, as that's local to the computer I'm on. Now, when I do that, sometimes it's going to pop up with a wizard that will allow you to automatically start using it. Go ahead and choose that if you'd like. Other times, you're going to see this happen, where it shows up as my 5 gigabyte drive, but offline. So I'll right-click and choose Online. Now I need to right click again and choose to initialize the disk. Now you can choose either MBR or GPT. GPT is the newer one, so I would choose that. And now I can choose a new volume. So I right clicked on my 4.98 gigabytes. There's a little bit of overhead involved. And I'll choose new simple volume. I'll click next. And I'm going to choose the default size. And I'm going to choose the default drive letter, but you can choose a different one if you want. You can also mount this in the following empty folder or not assign a drive letter. So I don't need to do any of that. I'll click Next. And I'm going to choose the defaults here and Finish. Now it's gone ahead and formatted this as my E drive. And there is my E drive now showing up on my file explorer in my server. So I can go ahead and add a file if I'd like or a folder, whatever it is I need to do. So that is how we add additional storage into VMware Workstation Player 17.